All right, this is Melissa Ryan joining you with Susie Burns. Yes. Your last name on your Facebook throws me off because in my mind I have, is that, was that your Richie. former name? Yeah, yeah. Richie okay. is my maiden name. Okay. <laughs> I'm still changing all of that stuff. <laughs> Which is fair, but that's why I paused because I was like, I think it's Burns. No, it's Richie. <laughs> okay, so I'll have Susie introduce herself shortly, uh, but I first want to just speak to the title. So the title of our Facebook Live today is Enhancing Self-Care Through Connection. Which actually, is it enhancing connection through self-care? I think it is. So I reversed <laughs> it. Because really, okay. it's one and the same. It is. In that um, we are creating a workshop that we're going to be hosting in a few weeks. And it's designed with the intention to look at self-care practices and how um, and relationship practices and how they those intersect and how they can support one another. And so uh, this talk really is for anyone that identifies as a wellness practitioner or a heart-centered professional and or um, maybe you're in relationship with a person that has that identity. And so um, I'm gonna have Susie introduce herself and how she got brought into doing this workshop with me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well I am Susie and um I work with uh, Melissa here at the Golden Wellbeing Collective is where mm -hmm. we met and you know every time we would run into each other we just really enjoyed each other's company and energy and so one day Melissa came into the office mm -hmm. and she said you know I was riding my bike Yep. and how all good stories begin <laughs> and I decided that we need to do a workshop together <laughs> yes those are <laughs> roughly the exact words of use <laughs> <laughs> and that you know the moment she said that I really got this great feeling and you know I think it would just I thought it would be just amazing for us to collaborate mm -hmm. and you know to take your expertise um, and mesh it in with mine mm -hmm. um, I've been teaching yoga for many years and I'm also a licensed massage therapist and do a lot of energy work and healing work and so to be able to integrate all of these practices and modalities that I've been exploring over the years into this uh, you know, offering with you is I'm really excited about it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. And it, I mean, based off our conversation, I was like, we relate really well. And the high idea really behind this workshop is about being relational yes. and um, also honoring the individual within the context of relationship. Absolutely. And so I always believe that it's a parallel process. I don't, I didn't like come to that on my own. I learned that a lot in grad school that we, they would talk a lot about parallel processes and so you know what we're creating together and the collaboration and complementing each other's strengths and um, being clear about what we expect and all of that is what I kind of foresee uh, the workshop really being for our participants yeah. and what they'll experience with one another and with us and I could just t like based off our conversation I was like I think our energy complement really well um, we I think can just take ideas and be really creative with it but also um, communicate clearly about what we're thinking like that nice balance of both energies of that creative energy with a, some structure and form yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> what I thought would be interesting is sharing, you know, you and I touched base a little bit about kind of just this concept and you had shared that you kind of had been simmering on it and then reflecting about it in your own life. What, what would you feel comfortable sharing about that process with our yeah. folks? Yeah. Um, well, you know, the world today is can be feel very overwhelming from time to time. And I think that when we are in relationship, it can be really easy to disconnect. Mm -hmm. There, There's so many ways that we can distract ourselves in the world mm -hmm. today. And I think for me, what's become really clear um, is that I really want to be able to create a space for people to connect more deeply with their partners. Mm -hmm and in in turn you would be connecting more deeply with yourself mm -hmm. and when we can take care of ourselves and our partners at the same time 
It's amazing. Yeah. (laughs) It's really (laughs) amazing. And um, for myself, like what helped me reach this conclusion is just, um, I went through a period as a lot of folks that do heart centered work of becoming burned out and experiencing what we would call is like compassion fatigue and just being really overwhelmed. And what I noticed is all other facets of my life started to significantly suffer because ethically I was like, well, I can't let my work, I hold this huge responsibility and I can't let that suffer. So what ultimately ended up happening is all these other areas of my life, my own health, my own well-being, my connection with my partner, my connection with my friends and family, they all started to um, experience disconnection from me. Mm -hmm. I was experiencing disconnection from myself. And one of the ways I brought myself back into health was really being intentional with my partner about some self-care practices and um, and implementing it into my daily life. You know, mm-hmm. I've said this in a few other Facebook Lives uh, that I went and saw a counselor around this issue because I could tell, I mean, this was before I even felt fully burned out. I could tell that I was hitting capacity and I went to meet with a counselor And they were like, you know, Melissa, practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. And what you are practicing, your daily habits, are what is going to be the rhythm of your life. And I was like, oh gosh, this is the worst rhythm. It's like not smooth at all, and it's like go, 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 crash. Go, 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 crash. And I was experiencing that in all these relationships. And and so, you know, I had lots of conversations with my partner. I started really like writing down and scheduling time to connect with friends um, because when we're in that state, we tend to isolate. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, one of the statistics or stats that stands out in my mind is the US ranks number one on a continuum of individualism and collectivism and we rank number one for individualism. So it is very much in our culture, in our history of we take care of ourselves, you know, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Mm. Um, Mm. Even when we talk about self-care, it's about taking care of yourself. There's hardly any conversation about what that would look like in a relational space, in a community space. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's important to connect with myself and, and know where I begin and where I end and where others begin and where they end. And a lot of healing can happen in a relational space. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, for the majority of my time teaching, I've taught, you, you know, community yoga classes mm-hmm. where everyone is in their own practice and moving inward and having their own experience. And, um, something that really drew me to this workshop is to be able to take that practice because Mm -hmm. I've experienced it for myself. You know, the power of the practices, um, the way that it raises our vibration. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just by taking even five minutes a day to sit down and just breathe, Mm -hmm. right? It's Mm -hmm. like, man, just like that deep (laughs) breath you just took. (laughs) It's like, it's an invitation. So I took it, Susie. (laughs) It can just really change the way that our, I mean, it really comes back to the nervous system, right? Mm -hmm. So everything is affecting our nervous system in a way that is either activating our fight or flight, the sympathetic nervous system, or the rest and restore, which is our parasympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. So with so much distraction and so much focus on like work, 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 and you know i mean having a commitment to your work is a really beautiful and passionate you know powerful thing but in order to take care of others we really have to take care of ourselves Mm -hmm. and so you know i'm just really excited to be able to kind of weave these practices into um into a partnership you know Mm -hmm. where we take practices that most of us may be used to doing on our own and Mm -hmm. see what does this feel like if I sit down with my partner and Mm -hmm. do this, right? What does it feel like if we simply sit back to back and do Mm -hmm. some breathing together, Mm -hmm. right? And, you know, um, coming back to part of the reason why I really wanted to do this is because, you know, we're all human and we too experience these ups and downs in our relationships and these times that we're like really doing good at taking care of ourselves and each other. And then there's times where, you know, we're just completely disconnected. Mm -hmm. And so often, you know, if I know I have time to spend with my husband, 
I'll often put my own self-care practices on hold because I really want to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. And you know, how powerful is it that instead of putting those practices on hold, I can instead just do them with my husband mm -hmm. and to just simply, I mean, it can be that simple. Take mm -hmm. five minutes in the evening to sit back to back or to just sit and gaze into each other's eyes and just find that really deep, intimate connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the more you get in, like if you're gazing in each other's eyes and taking a somatic approach, right, you could get in your body, okay, what am I noticing and feeling as I'm gazing into my partner's eyes? And then the more I connect with my own experience, then I also have, it creates an opening to understand maybe what my partner's experiencing because I'm more attuned to myself. And so originally I started writing like, these are self-care practices and these are relationship practices, but it's really one and the same because mm -hmm. there's a relationship with yourself that is a relationship, right? So that's relational. And then there's an outward relationship with your partner, with your kids, with the people you work with. It all, it's all the same from my point of view. And so what we're really talking about is this toolkit that helps deepen your relationship with yourself in conjunction with deepening your relationship with your partner. That there's this dance of I go inward and I connect with myself and what I need and then I can speak that to my partner. My partner's doing the same thing and it's this dance and the better we get at it um, for ourselves, the better we can do it in relationship, but, but that it can occur simultaneously. Oh yeah. You know? Very well said. <laughs> Thanks, <Susie. laughs> And so, um, Perhaps, just as a little teaser, you could share a little bit about what, what somebody would expect when they're signing up for this two-hour workshop with us. Absolutely. Not everything, because we want a few yeah. surprises here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, I'm really taking the way that I teach yoga and kind of expanding into, you know, to include a partnership. Mm -hmm. And so the foundation of a lot of my teachings um, somatically is to really honor the body and you know we never want to try to force our body to fit into a certain shape mm -hmm. but to rather you know change the shape so that it fits our body mm -hmm. and that's going to change from day to day to day right from moment to moment to moment and so you know whenever i teach yoga i'm always inviting students to really feel the movements to mm -hmm. feel the breath you know if if this movement doesn't feel good how could you change it so that it does feel good mm -hmm. and so if we can you know learn to do that for ourselves to really like listen to the body mm -hmm. because the body is so intelligent mm -hmm. right and so often we get stuck up in our heads and our mind tries to think you know or tell us that well no we need to look this way in the pose or look that way and mm -hmm. No, every single body in the whole world is gonna look different in every single pose. Mm -hmm. And so if we can learn to really honor that and to be able to have the courage to say, this feels good, but that doesn't, and then we bring that into our relationship, mm -hmm. right? We can communicate more clearly. We can have the courage to say, this doesn't feel good to me, but this does, right? Mm -hmm. If we could just move move this way or that way or if we could you know make these changes mm -hmm. you know it doesn't have to be physically in the body it could be something that you know words that are being said or mm -hmm. you know patterns that have been created in the home or you know and to have that courage to really speak with your partner in a really intentional clear way mm -hmm. saying you know I this is really how I'm feeling and I really want to be able to tap into this more and I really want to be able to sit down with you and connect more mm -hmm. um, and that's what I'm really wanting to dive into here mm -hmm. so we're gonna be moving through some yoga really simple yoga practices um, on our own experiencing it for ourselves and then coming into partnership with our our intimate partners and mm -hmm. experiencing it to, together and it's going to be sort of this dance that you were describing of of experiencing something individually and then how does this fit into our our experience together mm -hmm. um, and our intention is to really create a simple flow and to offer some really um, 
simple tools that you can literally take home with you mm -hmm. and and apply and integrate into your your daily or weekly activities or routines in the home, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, something, that word routine, you know, I mm -hmm. always think we have so many routines, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like we get up and brush our teeth and, you know, it's like everyone generally has this sort of flow in the morning. Mm -hmm. And so instead of thinking of it as a routine, I always like to think of it as a ritual. And so how can we bring more intention into these day-to-day -day things that we're, we're doing? And, you know, it could be something like making dinner with our, our partners. You know, mm -hmm. how can we slow down and really enjoy all of the, you know, senses that come up mm -hmm. with, you know, cutting fresh food and, and you know, cooking it or, you know, mm -hmm. all these different and ways. preparing it and yeah. interacting. Yeah. And so for you, what's the difference because it sounds very intentional of ritual versus routine. Well, I think routine comes into this, you know, kind of uh, kind of transactional, on pilot, you yeah. know, like you're just on pilot and it's like, you know, maybe you're trying to do a couple other things while you're brushing your teeth, mm -hmm. but instead, could you just pause and just simply stand there and brush your teeth mm. and experience all the sensations? Mm -hmm just I mean just brushing your teeth right mm -hmm. it's something that most of us do twice a day mm -hmm. <laughs> and at so, least that's what they tell us to do. <laughs> right <laughs> how, how well we're doing we don't know <laughs> and so you know taking that three minutes a day mm -hmm. or twice a day that we can really just be in that moment of mm -hmm. experiencing the sensation and when we get good at that right then maybe it starts to you know ease into other areas of our lives mm -hmm. And, you know, another thing with the, these practices is when we practice yoga and meditation and mm -hmm. when we take time to slow down and breathe, it, mm -hmm. it allows our vibration to heighten, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, we increase, increase our vibes. We, yeah, we increase our vibes. <laughs> and then if we're doing that with our partner, mm -hmm. right, we're both taking care of ourselves, increasing our vibration, and then that's going to affect our neighbors. Mm -hmm. It's going to affect all the people we work with or that we run into at the grocery store, right? So everywhere we go, our vibration is is a higher level mm -hmm. and people are going to notice that, yes. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so in turn it ends up, you know, it I don't know, for me it becomes a way of life. And it's empowering. And you know, you look around and you might feel very disempowered by what's but by what you see in the world or the things you hear in the news or, or whatnot. Um, there's plenty to feel helpless about and powerless about. Mm -hmm. And uh, this brings it back to what you can have influence on. And, um, you know, actually my supervisor last week said, self-work is world peace work. Mm. I love that. And that's kind of, that, that's what we're talking about here, right, is these practices. And most heart-centered professionals that I've talked with lately are feeling the energy of the culture. And it's pretty heightened. Um, and it has the, the, can have that impact of lowering our vibes. Mm -hmm. And so this is really about creating community and space um, with the intention of connecting with self raising your vibe there raising your vibe with partner and then mm -hmm. in the sense of, in the community raising mm -hmm. our vibes together um, and, and that's very where healing takes too, place we're, we're going to be connecting in with our five senses mm -hmm. right and so, the nature yes <laughs> this beautiful this is the setting of our our mm -hmm. workshop we're going to be out in the backyard of the golden well-being collective such a beautiful space mm -hmm. And we're, we have a lot of practices that will help to engage the senses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our senses are these amazing things that help us explore the world around us. But mm -hmm. oftentimes, right, they, we get overwhelmed because there, mm -hmm. there's just so much to explore, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, we're just like on over sensory load and, you know, it can become a little disheartening at times mm -hmm. where, you know, we just feel overwhelmed. and. So, you know, these practices will help us to really learn how we can choose, right? Mm -hmm. How we allow the senses to go out into the world. Mm -hmm. And so we can say, you know, this really isn't serving me. I'd rather be doing this or, mm -hmm. you know, and we start to uh, 
not allow distractions in as mm -hmm. much. Yes. And so that, be more intentional. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Be more in the present moment. Yes, with, with our, everything. Yes, with ourselves, our partners, the world around us. Cool. Well, yeah. um, thank you, Susie, for joining oh, me. Oh, yes. With thank I'm so you. excited for I'm our so workshop. Excited. We were doing a little prep today, and yes. we both decided that this is a workshop we both want to come to. So, it's true. <laughs> Fortunately, we'll be there. <laughs> yes. So, there's that. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's definitely uh, something that we both were like, yeah, that, man, I'm glad this is being created, and yeah. I'm excited to see other workshops like this created uh, because. I think there's a need, at least for myself and my partner. <laughs> and it yeah. seems like you're on board with that as yeah, well. Absolutely. And so if you have questions, um, we'll have information again um, about the workshop. Uh, you can follow up with Susie and I. Mm -hmm. um, even today when we were doing some more prep work, we've really been thinking about um, folks that might have different abilities physically and how we can consider that in the workshop so that there is um, that inclusivity and that yes, sense yep. of um, yeah just even and how we're being intentional so that anyone could participate if this is something that they believe would be helpful to themselves and their relationship mm -hmm. so. yes we are, hope you will join us and please follow up if you have any questions and if you know somebody that you're like yes i i can't make it or i'm not sure about this but you're like i know somebody that might really love this please pass this on um i would just love to get th this concept of self-care and relationship practice to be more of a conversation and more practitioners talking about it so just you even sharing it um to get that conversation going would be awesome. Yes. Cool. Please. Thank you. Thank you.